15 of the most important bugs have been fixed in the MCC flight, but one of them is making it to release. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with Halo, make sure to tap subscribe, keep yourself updated as well as we ramp up to Halo Infinite. So let's get right into the 15 fixed bugs in the flight. There are many more, but these are the 15 most important ones. So let's get right into it. One of the most important bugs for me that has recently just been fixed in the MCC flight is the suicide grunt plasma grenades do not render or play audio as intended on dedicated servers. That has been fixed now, so now I'm not going to be stealth killed by grunts that are completely silent with no visual confirmation that they are holding grenades so i can't tell if they're running away or they're running at me in fact in my recent video kind of talking about firefight it has showed you a clip of what exactly what i'm talking about dude oh god is he coming at me with grenades i think he was yep he was god damn it some of the other issues being addressed that have been fixed are lighting flickers in the opening cutscene of coastal highway on the unlimited frame rate Players are unable to scroll through visor database map diagonally when using WASD controls. Players are unable to use health packs after starting second round of firefight. That's a big one. I never came across that one. Of course, and I'm usually, you know, trying to avoid using health packs, obviously, since they're a limited resource. Uh, but I think I did notice that maybe like maybe once or twice, but couldn't confirm that for sure. Uh, number five on this list, uh, picking up a detached turret will now maintain the centered crosshairs in ODST before they were kind of switching around a little bit. Here's a bug that was fixed, but then it actually caused a new bug, apparently, with number six here. Uh, weapon position in ODST campaign was fixed to align with legacy placement when in ADFOV. Today's flight build has intended a new known issue that causes the weapon to appear distorted when adjusting the FOV. So if you're playing at anything above like the intended FOV that was made on console, you're going to be noticing some warped uh, visuals. I'm assuming this will be fixed probably before release as well. Number seven right here, aircraft wraith should no longer be spawned upside down on Lost Platoon. Number eight, new weapon textures pop in when they first spawn into a multiplayer match. I definitely noticed that one. If you're rocking a new camo, you're gonna be kind of noticing some flickering happen when the first happens, but after that, it's fine. That's been fixed up, so that's really great to see. Uh, to continuing on with the weapon skins here. Number nine, Halo 3 weapon skins are not visually saved after when exiting the customization menu. I certainly noticed this one where I was customizing my weapons, guy in game, like, wait a minute, I'm still using default, what the heck is going on here? So I'm glad to see that's been fixed up. Love it here. Season 3 weapon skins and visor colors for Halo 3 revert to default upon death. That's been fixed. Number 12, another issue that's been resolved here. Season 3 weapon skins for Halo 3 refer to default weapon skins while in active camouflage. Another fix here for number 13, grenades thrown by client do not travel as far in firefight. That has been fixed. I've certainly noticed that one. That was really throwing me off. I was like, I don't remember the grenades being like little tiny little, I don't know, underhand tosses from a five-year-old. Like that's how far the grenades were tossing earlier. It was really weird because I def, but now the grenades are flying at the proper trajectory now in firefight, which is great to see. Uh, 14 on the result issues here when users are playing with centered crosshairs option uh, their crosshairs and zoom reticle appear more oblong when compared to lower slash legacy i definitely noticed this one kind of more another reason why i was rocking lowered crosshairs not because it's just classic or have better visuals or what's above you uh, but a lot of people like running cr centered crosshairs and you know it's really good to see that's being fixed and number 15 here improved an issue that caused ragdolls to bounce during odst firefight sessions i certainly noticed this one as well and i wasn't totally sure if it was just grenades not uh rendering as we were having with those grunts earlier or if it was something going on glad to see that's been fixed I actually have a clip of that as well showing you guys kind of just what exactly what i'm talking about with the you know, shot like these grunts and then they just start just jumping up in the air for whatever reason you know uh so i'm glad to see that's been fixed up as well so not so funky looking right now obviously the game's still fun still very playable uh though there are some issues but the, there are still some known issues going in continuing on with one of these known issues going to make it into the release of odst so one here single shot weapon recoil is stronger for 
for the Magnum and Carbine. That's definitely true. I remember playing, I was like, I don't remember the recoil being this ridiculous. Uh, it's certainly noticeable and definitely gets in the way of the gameplay for sure. Uh, that would definitely need to be fixed before release for sure. Uh, number two here, players are unable to communicate using in-game voice. This could be a blessing and a curse. Obviously communicating with your teammates in-game can be very important, but can be also extremely annoying as people like to abuse the advantage of anonymity on the internet as we all know for sure. Now number three here is an issue that's actually gonna be making it into the release, but that's not necessarily a fault on 343 or bringing it to PC. This is just an issue of bringing over content from a different game. As number three here for known issues right now, Throne equipment is not visible while wielding an auto mag pistol in Halo 3 and that's staying in launch. And I got a clip here showing you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So I have an auto mag, I'm throwing out like a power drain, no animation to do that. And they state here exactly why that is. Getting the ODST weapons functional in Halo 3 came with a few sacrifices, which includes not having an animation preset for the auto mag. ODST did not support thrown equipment, so animations were never created for use in the game. Both the Brute Plasma Rifle and Silenced SMG align with their existing counterparts in Halo 3 and have these animations, but one specifically for the Automag does not exist. In terms of overall impact, it's fairly low and rather than not add the weapon into the sandbox, we have decided to let this live in MCC for the time being. We want you to know we're still listening to feedback through Halo support, and if demand is high, we can open up the investigation again. Now obviously it can be a little immersion breaking when you're not having an animation when everything else has an animation when throwing equipment, but I kind of understand with this one because obviously since it's such a unique weapon coming into Halo 3, there was no animation created for it and uh, they probably have to go through and put a lot of extra work to make sure this happens. And since it's probably only gonna be viable either in custom games or in like the Recon Slayer playlists, which are gonna be rotational, I think that this is fine. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really bother me too much. If it bothers you, you know, let me know in the comments. I do read a comment to try to apply to most of them as well. So this is the bug I was talking about, saying that it's not necessarily an issue on 343's side of bringing it over to PC. It's more just bringing extra content to Halo 3, and uh, it's just you know some minor changes like that happen, and then it's understandable. And you know, like, yeah, I prefer obviously to have an animation there, but I'd rather not hold the game back just because of the an animation for an equipment for a single weapon that's in the game. So my most favorite bug that's being fixed right now is definitely that grunt animation that was the most frustrating thing with no audio no visual cue and just an explosion then you die that's crucial when it comes to ODST, especially at the higher levels for sure so let me know in the comment section down below guys have you been experiencing any of these issues because i you know do read all the comments and try to apply to most of them as well if you like this video make sure to tap that like button if you're missing any content from me or want to stay up to date with anything involving halo if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so check out the videos on the screen right now and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out